M0FXB, welcome to my videos learning how to use the new Yesu FT5DR. M0FXB, just showing you the ID52, the Icon 52, side by side with the new Yesu FT5. The, uh, the funny thing is that the 52, um, isn't out yet, but um, not outside Japan anyway. So you've got some stations coming through there on D Star. The key difference is, let me just get this um, display, it's a bit bright. Display, brightness, turn it down a bit. There you go. The key difference is, let's turn one up. There you go. The key difference is that the Yesu FT5 will receive digital on both bands and information, but you can only hear one. The ID52, it will receive two digital at the same time. It, you know, one, two hotspots or, or a repeater, but if they're in D-Star, it will hear them both at the same time. Otherwise, the big difference you notice straight away is the size yeah it's, it's the 52 is a much bigger radio let's see weight wise yeah probably a bit heavier screen wise if you look at the screen size i wouldn't say that the screen's a lot bigger but it is bigger on the 52 with the ft5 you've got these LED lights here, one for each band. So there are two, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, but there are two receive VFOs on the on the FT5. I'm saying there are, I think there is on the 52. Obviously with the 52, it's the DR system. So you, we're in DR mode here. If I hold down DR, that's we're back into a, a normal VFO. This type of display there. You can have single screen, hold down that button. We've got single screen on the FT5, hold down the AB button, single screen, and you can go A and B. There you go, A and B. They both have scopes, so you need to be in VFO on the FT5, and then you can go menu. Uh, go forward to see the word scope and there's your scope there on the 52 you go menu and you've got a sort of grid menu system and, and there's your scope there some uh, activity so check that out quality wise they're both they're actually about the same it's just that the 52 have, have added some color and I'm sure they could do that with the FT5 They both do good Bluetooth. They both send photographs. So you go menu on this one So you've got to come out of scope so we'll go like that and we'll turn off the scope so go menu Sorry, I'm pushing the wrong button menu Down to picture and there you are you can send pictures via D star and reflectors so let's just turn off the scope here. Now that's just pausing it. So F menu scope. There you go. It's off. They both send photographs. You 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 can plug in the camera microphone, or you can save the photograph to the SD card and then send it that way. But they both do do. They both send photographs. Um, they both have quite good GPS locks. Now both of them look have locked already. So we'll just go come out of that by pushing VFO and we'll go so we'll just get the uh, we'll get the uh, GPS on so we'll back out of the menu back out of that quick there and then go to GPS position you get that position there with the FT5 F menu then it says DISP you get this for tracking and then tap it so there's the GPS 
and your position details are underneath the graph. And you back out of that. Let's go quick again. And to see the satellites, GPS, there you go. It's very nice. But to me, they're both lovely radios. You know, it's, it's the size does make a difference. It's it's just a big set, the 52. I, I, I use it all the time. I like using it, but I tend to have it on the desk. The 55 is more one that I would put in my pocket. So go back. The audio on both are good. They've definitely made the FT5 much more acceptable regarding audio. Now, it was okay, but if you were using a radio like an any tone 878 and then you started using the FT5 on digital, you would just find it a bit tinny. You couldn't do anything with the bass. What they've done, they've increased the speaker to one watt. It's still a waterproof radio, and these are both waterproof. Um, to a certain level, check out the specs there to make sure. Um, but what they've done, they've added this extra menu. So if you hold down F menu, go to TXRX at the top and select digital, and you've got audio pitch. And I'll say this in every video, please add this to the FT3D. But anyway, low boost, flat, and high boost. So low boost is like bassier. I leave it on that. So, and the Bluetooth works as it did before, really. They both have SD cards. You can charge the 52 using a normal micro USB uh, cable. You can't do that with the FT5. You've got to charge it in the cradle. They both fit the cradles from the, the charging cradles from the previous models. They both have, you know, these nice black screens with colour. The, I would say the FT5 has got a bit more colour now. They've got a new menu selector there. I think it's in display. Display. And then, as always, display colour, look. You've got red, and white and blue. I like it in red, so. It's a novelty, but it is nice. And with the FT5, you get the, the holster that sort of clips on the back. They've both got nice big belt clips, but there's a holster, which I don't really use, but it does come free in the box. Okay, Programming-wise, the F52, you can do it on a normal micro USB cable. Uh, with the FT5, you've got a cable in the box for firmware, but that's it. You um, need an SEU19 cable. Uh, to interface now interfacing with a computer so Yesu they've got their wires XPDN mode and then D star you've got the RS is it M1A app to use I mean this is a D star system yeah it's the RS MS1A which works very well and you can connect it via Bluetooth and you can uh, there's maps that you can look at selecting different D-Star repeaters and all sorts of stuff, messaging, picture sending, it just goes on. So okay, just a summary, they're both excellent radios. When the 52 comes out, it's going to be about £525 in the UK. These are based, the FT5 is around 400 which is not far off what the FT3D was. The, the styling is a bit more curved, the, free, the FT3 is a bit more rugged design got this little word here that says mic and, um, and the buttons do light up on the FT3 they've got this quick cam feature where you hold down the program button here and you get these graphs and you can add, I think add up to about five just by holding it down it will just add one now I need to look into the menu about how to do that but I will do there you go and you can, I think you have to change the frequency to add a different one but it is good. I've I played around with it. There's grass. You can see it's a live monitor and you tap the one you want to listen to. And it's colour as well. It's always appealing. I don't think I've missed anything. They all do air band, weather band, marine band. You know, they're very good. They've covered a lot. So 7.3, thanks for watching and catch you later. M0FXB clear.